Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create multicolored list items inside the list section in Squarespace. Found under the People Page sections, list sections automatically organize your content for you in a responsive way, but the design menu is a little lacking. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes from this tutorial and links to additional resources to help you customize it. But the codes to create uniquely colored list items are a little complicated, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to walk you through the codes below so you'll understand how to use them and what parts of the code you'll want to change to make it uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention this tutorial is specific for version 7.1, the latest version of Squarespace. I have two list sections here on my site. One of them has card enabled and the other one doesn't, and both of them are going to modify with CSS. I'm going to select Website, then Website Tools, and then Custom CSS, and this is where we'll paste the code that's underneath the video. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to change the background color for all of them. Here I'll say List, Item, and we can just say Background, Pink, exclamation point, Important. And now the background of every single list item has become a bright pink color. But what if we only wanted to change the third list item, for example? For that, I can say list item nth child three. And now just the third list item is changed in both lists. I can also say two, or I can say one, and we can do this as many times as we need to. We can say nth child two, and we can make this one purple. We can also use hex color codes. This is one of my favorite shades of teal. And while that's awesome, we can do even more. We can also say odd and even and create a pattern of different options here. And we can even color every third. And again, all of these are listed in the description below. Now, in this example here, I've made the first list section this light blue background, but you'll notice that doesn't work for this list section. What if I only want to apply it to this first one? I can do that by isolating the data section ID. I have a free Chrome extension that I use for this, not affiliated, just a fan. I'm going to click on that Chrome extension and grab the data section ID. I'll place that at the very beginning of my code before I even said list item. And now, because I've added it for all three colors, we'll see this pattern in the first section. But this one has been reset back to normal. So if you want to isolate an individual list section, grab its data section ID and place that at the beginning of the code. After you've made all the changes you'd like to make, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used to create these unique list items in Squarespace. And you'll also find links to additional resources for customizing more with code. I also have a link down there for my email list, insidethesquare.co forward slash email. So if you want me to hop into your inbox with a brand new tutorial every week, be sure to sign up. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.